okay let's solve a design problem for the beam in which we will see how to design a beam that is uh, given in this figure so this is the a timber beam uh, the statement of problem is that a timber beam is supported that is to support the three concentrated loads so there is a timber beam that is supported by three concentrated load we have given that the uh, knowing that for the grade of timber used el sigma allowable is 1800 psi and maximum uh, sharing sharing stress allowable is 120 psi so you have to determine the minimum required depth of d of the beam so in cross section of the beam is given that is 3.5 into d so you have to design or you have to find out this depth d in order so that it can satisfy these conditions are maximum allowable stress and maximum allowable sharing stress for this load so how we will des design or how we will solve this problem so first we have given sigma allowable and as you know that sigma allowable can also be written as sigma max and sigma max is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i or we can also write as as maximum bending moment divided by section modulus so by using these forces we will find out uh, maximum bending moment and what we will do we will have to uh, draw the shear force and bending moment diagram once you draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so you will get a maximum bending moment we can we have the value of maximum uh, uh, maximum bending stress so we have this value and this value let me write it again is this maximum bending moment over section modulus so you will be have this value and this value so you can calculate s when you get s and for rectangular beam we you know that s is equal to 1 over 6 bh square 1 over 6 let me write we will also check it later bh square where h is the depth clear d so we have this value we have b so we can find this depth d uh, let me write it as d square so once one we can uh, by using this method we can find the depth also second we we will find the we have given tau allowable and that is equal to tau maximum and this tau maximum is equal to vq over i into t so again here tau maximum will be equal to maximum shear stress so maximum shear stress will be taken from the shear force diagram q will can be calculated i can the for the beam can also be calculated and thickness is 3.5 so you can calculate the maximum shear stress so again so you have maximum shear stress sorry uh, q is the first moment of inertia can cannot be calculated so we have this this and for i because i is the rectangular so we can also calculate the value of area if we have maximum shear stress and maximum shear force so let move toward the problem and we will see so first of all you have to draw you have to find out the reaction forces at point a and b and i will not do that you have to calculate it yourself so you can see that these are the reaction forces at point a and at point c uh, now if you draw the shear force diagram so you have to draw the two lines from at end of the beam and you have to join these two lines this this lines show you the length across the longitudinal longitudinal stress now you can see there is a shear force of three kips so it will go upward to three kips now from a to c there is no load so it will be the same so at point c there is 2.5 kilo newton, uh, concentrated load so 3 minus 2.5 is 0.5 so at point c it will reduce to 0 
now from c to d there is no load so it will be remain same 0 0.5 at point c there is a load of 1 so 1 is negative uh, downward and 0 0.5 so that will be um, 0 0.5 is plus so that will be minus 0 0.5 so it will go to minus 0 0.5 from d to e there is no load so my, it will be minus 0 0.5 now this is minus 0 0.5 and this load is also negative 2.5 so 2.5 and 0.5 is 3 so it will be minus 3 again it will be the same till this so you can see at the end there is 3 kips and this 3 kips so this is the shear force diagram now you know for bending moment diagram we can we can find it easily by area under the shear stress so from a to c the area is this one so 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 that is written over here plus 6 now from area under the shear force diagram between c and d is so this force was 0 0.5 and this distance is 3 so it is 1.5 again th this area from d to e this area so minus 0 0.5 into 3 is minus 1.5 and this area is total is 3 and this is 2 which is minus 6 clear so you can also calculate it this is 6 uh, 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 6 so if you plot them so at point a there is shear force but no bending moment so it will be zero so at point c the area the shear uh, bending moment is 6 so you have to plot 6 and as since it is a zero degree equation it will be a straight line a linear line now at point from c to d this is 1.5 so this was 6 and this is plus 1.5 total will be 7.5 so you have to plot 7.5 and again the line between c and d is zero degree line so it will be the bending moment will be the linear equation now when you move from here to here so total is 7.5 minus 1.5 it will be again 6 so it will be 6 now it is the 0 degree line and it is ne negative so it will be in linear line but slope will be decreasing similarly from this is minus 6 and this 6 so it will be 0 minus 6 plus 6 will be 0 so from this diagram this is the bending moment diagram from this diagram we can see that the maximum bending moment maximum bending moment is equal to 7.5 kips and the maximum shear force is 3 kips you can see this is 3 this is 0 0.5 this is minus 0 0.5 and this is minus 3 so maximum shear force is 3 kips and maximum bending moment is 7.5 kips in, into foot which we have converted into inch so that will be 90 kips into inch now we have given the maximum we know that allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment or section modulus so maximum bending allowable stress was 1800 psi maximum bending moment we find out in previous slide that is 19 to 10 is power 3 lb into inch and section modulus is equal to 1 over 6 bd square because this is the depth section modulus so you have, when you put the value of b which is 3.5 and divide it by 6 so it will be 0 0.5833 into d square so again d will be here and this 1800 will come down so when you take down the root of d square so it will be d and this d is 9.26 inch this is how we can find the depth by using the allowable sharing stress uh, allowable bending stress or normal stress now we will determine this depth based on the allowable shear stress. Now we know that maximum shear stress from this figure, we, this is for rectangular beam. So maximum shear stress is equal to 3 over 2 VA, which is equal to 3 over 2 V max over A. And this maximum shearing stress allowable is given as 120 PSI, 3 over 2 V is also uh, obtained by using the maximum shear force diagram 3 kips 
and area you know that area of this beam is equal to 3.5 into depth so 3.5 into depth which is unknown so you can calculate the value of depth now we if you see that we have two value of depth one is this one and one is this one so for safety purpose you have to choose the largest value of depth so we will choose this depth d is equal to 10.71 inch why we choose the largest because if we choose the smallest value so maybe that is not uh, supported by the allowable shearing stress or, uh, or maximum bending stress so if we use this depth that will be uh, that will uh, that that will satisfy the criteria of maximum allowable stress and maximum shearing stress so this is how we have calculated the required depth of the beam that is equal to the largest of two and that is 10.71 thank you for watching the video if you like the video kindly subscribe like and share thank you